Okay, so I want to talk about Mario Kart Wii items because like I think that they're really cool and really special and I really want to just explain what I feel about them because they are very special to my heart. Cool. So I'm going to be ranking all 19 of the items starting with number 19 and going to 1. Coming in number 19, I think that the blooper is probably one of the worst things. I know a lot of people say that the thundercloud is the worst thing, which is the little zappy zap pew pew one, the cloud. But like, honestly, in my opinion, I think the blooper is worse because it's literally like just a, a skip item. Like you don't use it. It's not really valuable for anyone and it just kind of sucks. Coming in number 18, probably the least favorite one here, the Thundercloud, the TC we call it. I call it COVID personally. It sucks. It reminds me of COVID-19. Anytime that someone touches you with it, you get passed on the sickness, illness, and you have to either touch someone else with it, giving them COVID, or accept your fate and get electrocuted and die. Really badly. Okay, skipping on to number 17, the POW block. I personally you don't have any issue with this one but at the same time i also just don't like it there, there's good like times where it's actually pretty useful but in my opinion it's one of those things where most of the time it's pretty unuseful and the only time it's gonna be useful is on sharp turns or corners of some kind number 16 there's nothing again there's nothing wrong with this one but like there's so many other better ones than this it's the single banana so with this one it's a banana peel you throw it forward or backwards you feel like a champ if you throw it forward and hit someone. You don't feel as much as a champ if you throw it backwards and hit someone, but it's still pretty satisfying. The reason I have this so low is it's more of like a defense item. You don't really use it too much to actually hit people, but you use it for more counteractive on shells and other stuff like that. It's pretty simple, it's not that big of a deal, and it's kind of mid, so. Number 15 is the Fib. This one is very similar to the banana. It is kind of like the banana in a lot of ways. They basically have the same thing, except for the Fib has a bigger hitbox and can go through shells. So you throw a green shell, it's gonna go through it, which can be a good thing or a bad thing depending on the circumstance. So for example, if someone has triple green shells, your Fib's gonna hit them either way. They can't block it like a banana would, you know? Now we get to number 14. The green shell, I don't like this one personally, but like I understand why a lot of people do like this one. It's very good for defense items. You can use it to bounce off of corners. People use it a lot of times on like GBA Bowser's Castle where they throw it, hit off a wall, zoink, bang, bang, use them angles, use your math angles to smack someone in the face. It's very fun to use sometimes, but in most courses, it, it ain't for me, I'm sorry. But I understand why people would like it. Number 13, the red shell is basically like the green shell if it was on steroids and way better. It locks onto someone and it's like, I'm gonna hit you or I'm gonna at least die trying to hit you. The only issue with it is its AI is really stupid and most of the time it doesn't actually hit the player because it just rams into a wall. So if you see me, usually I'm like, hat, suck it, and then it hits a wall. So yeah, that's red shell for me. Oh, oh I'm dead. Okay, number 12, I'm talking about a lot of shells right now but the blue shell is really good and also really bad at the same time. The reason why it's really good is because if you're in first place, it wreaks havoc and it destroys everyone. But the issue is for me personally, it's not very helpful if it's you that gets the blue shell. You're, if you're in second place, you love a blue shell coming. If you're in first place, you scream bloody murder because it's like, why the heck did a blue shell get sent? But like you in sixth place, if you pull that in sixth place, you're like, ew, that's gross. Why did I pull this? I could have pulled so many better items than this. It's still good, but it's just not amazing for the person who actually pulls it. It's good for second place, third place, fourth place, and onwards, but not the player who actually pulls it. I'm probably rambling on, but shut up. You don't know me. Okay, number 11, the mushroom. This one seems probably a lot higher than most of these other ones that are kind of like mid. Like mushroom is good, but the only reason it's good is if you're very good at the game. With mushroom, it's like a shortcut thing. You get a mushroom, most people just use it straight away, not really knowing what they're doing with it, not really knowing how to use it properly and being like, man, this item sucks. Like who would want this? But then the further on you play this game, the more you realize that like mushrooms are really, really useful for like shortcuts because it can go through off-road entirely and not have to deal with the off-road period. So yeah, mushroom good, but obviously not the best. 
Okay, we have hit the top 10. I don't really care about this one. I hate this one because if someone else pulls it, I literally like curse at them and start screaming and slamming the desk because it's annoying. It's the bomb. The bomb's good, but it's only good because of how stupid it is because of the radius. With the bomb, right, you throw it backwards, it's gonna explode and it's basically a guaranteed hit. And not only is it a guaranteed hit, but it also makes it go flying up in the air for like 30 seconds. Like it feels like you're in slow motion when you get hit by one of those bombs. It's like Number nine is the triple bananas. So it's like the regular banana, except for there's three now. So obviously it's gotta be a little bit better. The reason I like this one a lot is because of how defensive it is. If you're in first place and you pull this, you know that you're gonna be able to dodge a lot and also have the possibility of trapping. Obviously way better than one banana because it's three and three is better than one. Now, I know this one is a shocker because you wouldn't really expect this one to be this low, but I put the golden mushroom as number eight. And the reason why is personally, I don't really like this one too much except for at the beginning and the end of the game. The golden mushroom is like the most vulnerable thing to get hit by basically everything. You can get hit by shock, you can get hit by pow, there is so many different random things that you can get hit by anytime that you use the golden mushroom. A lot of times you'll get hit halfway through and then you'll lose your golden mushroom and you're like, I didn't even get to use this. That's stupid. That's annoying. Yay! Number seven, again, this is an unpopular pippy. Uh, pippy, uh, pippy. <laughs> Number seven, I know this is probably another un unpopular opinion, but personally, I believe that the triple mushrooms is better than the golden mushroom just because you can use those mushrooms at any time without spamming. I know the golden mushroom overall usually will get you further along, but you get more bang for your buck if you know what I mean. You can hit basically like three shortcuts in one if you have triple mushrooms compared to like a golden where you only have the possibility of doing one. Coming in number six, you've got the triple red shells. So this is a really good item. As you probably noticed, I put the green shell lower, but the red shell higher. But on this, the triple red shells is actually lower than the triple green shells. The reason why is because green shells specifically are used for defense. Like the triple item set is like a defensive item just in general. It's like a shield, you know? And with red shells, you're wanting to really use it to hit people. And so middle of the pack, I usually prefer to get green shells because it's going to be more protective and I'm not going to be using it for attack. I'm going to be using it more for defense purposes, but like either or makes sense. I would completely understand if people think the other way around where the triple green shells is actually better than the triple red shells. But in my opinion, I prefer triple green shells. Triple red shells are good. They're still good, but they're just not as good as the triple green shells. Number five, triple green shells. Like I said before, it's just a little bit better in my opinion because of the defense purposes and I really don't need to get deeper into that. I just, I like them. They're cool. They're green. I mean, green's my favorite color, so. I thought blue was your favorite color. Okay, blue's my favorite color. You don't gotta call me out like that. Green's, Fire. green, green. <laughs> Coming in number four, it's the green shell. No, I'm just kidding. It's the Mega Mushroom. Um, out of all three, four of these, you probably can notice something about them. They're used for evading the shock, and the shock is probably one of the biggest things to avoid in the game. If you can dodge the shock and mark our Wii, you'll win. It can also be used for shortcuts. That's another good reason for it. The only reason it's not top three is just because it doesn't give you a speed boost. It only is used for shock dodging and for off-road and also possibly to hit players. You can squash people and they get depressed. Number three is the star. I really love the star. The star is just one of those things that you can use it. It gives you invincibility. It gives you a little bit of a speed boost. You get like a nice little jingle that goes dun 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 You know, you guys already know the song. But yeah, it's just a great item overall. And if you don't have this in your top three, I'm very ashamed of you and I want nothing of you. Number two is the bullet bill. It's basically like a free zoomy zoom thing for you. I don't know why they call him Bill. I would love him to be called Bullet Phil. Yeah, it's very fast. It goes zoomy zoom. It's able to dodge shocks. It's able to be invincible. It's just a cool item. Gets you from like last to first sometimes. It depends on uh, where you use it. But a lot of times it's very helpful and very useful. And then obviously this is number one. It makes total sense why this is number one. Number one is the shock. Shocks people down, makes everyone small for a little while and also loses their items. So if you use it at the right time, you can get an extra item and no one else will have an item and they'll also be really small, really tiny. You can bully them because you'll be way bigger than them. Pick on them like I would to like sixth graders. Yeah, shock is definitely number one. It is awesome. I love shock. 
shock equal life. Um, but anyway, guys, I hope you did enjoy the video. Please make sure to like, subscribe if you did. It's been a lot of fun ranking these, and um, if you want anything else, please feel free to write down in the comments below. Goodbye. I love you. Mwah.